right, I'm gonna start off with the sketch. We're gonna use color pencil and then uh, work on the watercolor. So we're coming up to the end of the sketch. Um, I don't know how long it took me, maybe five minutes. So we're not doing anything too detailed, just want to get in the basic shapes. All right, now that we have the basic sketch in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this uh, flat as well as this flat um, to kind of block everything in and just make um, like a basic map of the values.
Honestly, it's perfectly fine if everything kind of bleeds together. Uh, Cause that's kind of the look I'm going for. Except the one thing I don't want to bleed in is the, the green of the trees that I'm going to put in later. I don't want that to bleed in. But I'm just going to kind of lay in a wash of the basic colors, like the local color of what I see. Like the brick there is kind of uh, like a, almost a burnt sienna, like magenta kind of thing. As you can see, I'm being very messy right now because um, at this stage, it literally does not matter. I can I could put purple um, on the bricks and it wouldn't do anything because I know I'm going to come back later and kind of fix um, what's going on. So at this point, I'm only like maybe a quarter of the way in, but because I've kind of laid everything in and approximated the values, I'm already kind of building um, confidence in how this painting is going. That's really uh, a big important part is like keeping yourself um, or just making sure that you have like just doing small things that'll, that are easy wins in the painting so that you can uh, build confidence along the way so you don't quit. A lot of the, a lot of my failed paintings in the beginning, um, when I look at them now, I realize that I was just, I was almost at that step, um, 
I was almost at each little uh, checkpoint where you kind of know what's going on. And in between those, I would lose confidence. So now I've realized you kind of have to just push to each of these little checkpoints. Like, I know this is a checkpoint right now that I can see everything is, um, like, everything is kind of the same value and it all just looks a mess, but I know that's a checkpoint and I know that it leads me to the next part where I cut shapes and I um, build values. So it's really all about making sure that you know there's a next step and finding what that next step is. All right, so at this point, I've gotten as far as I can get um, without letting the paint dry. So I'm gonna let this background dry, and then I'm gonna work on putting in the big values, like or the big darks, which is gonna be this hard line right here, this one, and then also these windows. Uh, my camera will adjust. See those windows are very dark, and then there's a big shadow. So I need to kind of group those uh, values but after the paint dries. Alright, so before, um, before I put in that big dark in the back, um, there's such a bright blue ledge on the roof that I'm going to put that in, so just in case, um, just so I don't ruin the chances of having um, that blue color get bled over by the dark black or dark green, I'm going to put that in.
right, I'm very happy with the progress so far. Um, everything else from here will be putting in darks and things that are uh, locally black, putting those in, and then um, that's about it. There's not too much left to go.
Okay, so because we're at a point where I have in most of the right values, but things are still kind of looking a mess, I gotta put in uh, the hard lines, like the architectural lines and also uh, smaller details to put everything together. So I need to work drier on the brush, like not use as much uh, wet washes.
So I didn't really want to use gouache, but I wasn't getting the structure that I needed in this painting, so I had to add it in. Okay, so because this last little bit of rendering is kind of the hardest part, I'm actually going to take it back home to the studio um, and finish it up there.
All right, so here's the final painting. I think it turned out all right, but I know I didn't stick to a couple of things I really wanted to do. First of all, I wanted it to be um, pretty much all watercolor, but things started to fall apart and it kind of got uh, a little too muddy, so I just had to bring it back with gouache. And um, it also kind of has like more of an illustration kind of look to it than like a realism feel. So hopefully next time uh, I can improve in that. But I do like, I like some of the stuff. I like, uh, I like that I brought back in this blue for the shadows. Um, and I like some of the actual drawing. It looks a little better than some of the other stuff I've done. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. And um, I guess we'll see what I come up with next time.